Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao Governor Mujib Hataman rejects the claim of former Senator Juan Ponce Enrile that no massacre happened during martial law under the late dictator Ferdinand Marcos. Hataman says the blood of the people slain in these massacres stains more than just the hands of Marcos. The blood of those killed in the Manili massacre also stains the hands of former Senate President Juan Ponce Enrile. In the first part of JPE, A Witness to History, the former Senate President claimed there were no massacres under the Marcos regime unlike what happened in Menjola during the supposed democratic government of Cory Aquino. The Manili massacre is the mass murder of around 70 to 80 Moros, including women and children, in a mosque in Manili, Carmen, North Cotabato, on June 19, 1971. The Palimbang or Malispong Massacre happened in Palimbang Sultan Kudarat on September 24, 1974. Another massacre took place in Bingkul Village in Mindanao on November 12, 1977. Chris Aquino will not run for a national post in 2019. In an Instagram post, Aquino says, I will not run for the Senate in 2019. Her name was included in a recently released Pulse Asia survey. Chris has long made known the fact that some of her contracts, both with multinational and local companies, explicitly prohibit her from divisive political participation except when defending her honor and that of her immediate family. She says she takes pride in her professionalism and respect for endorsement contracts. Aquino is the daughter of two democracy icons in the Philippines, late Senator Nino Aquino and the late President Cory Aquino. Her brother, Noinoy Aquino, was president from 2010 to 2016. The death toll in Itogon Benguet rises to 70 Sunday evening, September 23. 37 remain missing in Itogon. Ompong battered northern Luzon on September 15, bringing heavy rain that triggered floods and landslides. Officials earlier said that miners and their families refused to evacuate ahead of the typhoon's landfall. Meanwhile, Typhoon Paeng, international named Rami, strengthens before dawn Monday, September 24. The track of the typhoon has slightly moved up and will likely not make a landfall. In its 5 a.m. update, State Weather Bureau Pagasa says Paeng is located 1,100 kilometers east of Tuguegarao City, Cagayan, moving west-northwest at 20 kilometers per hour. Based on its latest forecast track, Paeng could leave the Philippine Area of Responsibility on Saturday, September 29.